Hey guys, I'm Sarah Tremblay. I work at the Leesburg Center for the Arts. I am our head instructor for our mobile art studio and art university program. And while we're in this time of social distancing, we don't want you guys to distance yourself from art. So I'm going to come on here and give some quick lessons. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on the seven elements of art. Um, earlier on this week, you might have seen on our social media pages for the center that we had a short little introductory video. And today what we're going to do is go a little bit more in depth, a little bit more advanced uh, explanations and definitions on what these elements are. Um, we also have a blog post for you guys to read if you're more of a visual learner. Um, in that blog post we have examples um, in art of each of the different elements so that you can see them at work so you can understand it a little bit better and apply it to your own art while you're at home. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright guys, so the first element of art is line, and a line is defined as a point moving in space where its length is greater than its width. Um, lines can be two-dimensional or three-dimensional, um, they can be implied lines or abstract as well. Uh, different types of lines include continuous lines, broken lines, jagged lines, vertical, horizontal, diagonal. Um, there are so many different kinds and lines are the foundation of drawing and sketching. Um, they can help you start out with a really solid base for your art and then you can build it from there using other elements as well. The second um, element of art that we're going to talk about is color. Um, there are three different components to color. Uh, there is hue, that's number one. Hue refers to the name that a color has, so what we know as red, blue, yellow. That is the hue of the color. Um, the second component is intensity. Um, intensity refers to the vividness of the color. Um, another word for it could be the saturation or the purity of the color. Um, the last component of color is value, and value is um, how dark or light a color is. Um, color can be used symbolically to produce a pattern or to show contrast in a piece of art. The next element of art that we're going to be talking about is value. And we mentioned it briefly when we were talking about color. Um, value is the lightness or darkness in color. Um, the lightest value that we have um, is white and the darkest value is black. Um, the difference between these values is called contrast. Uh, you can study the use of value in um, like black and white photography or monochromatic pictures where you have all sorts of different values of the same color or just values as black and white and the degrees between creating a piece of art. Okay, now we're gonna talk about shape. Shape is the result of closed lines. Um, shape is two-dimensional and it is flat. Shapes can be geometric, such as um, squares or triangles that we can identify and have names for. Um, or they can be organic and not have defined parameters um, and are more curved and abstract. Um, shapes in art can be used to control how the viewer perceives a piece and how your eye flows through. Next up is form. Form and shape kind of go hand in hand in my mind because while shape is two-dimensional, form um, is when a shape acquires depth and it becomes three-dimensional. Um, that's the point that it takes on form. Uh, three-dimensional art has actual form, like in architecture or sculpture, um, while two-dimensional pieces can also have the illusion of form. Um, just like if you were to draw a cone or a pyramid or sphere or cube using um, perspective and shading, you can um, have the illusion of form in a two-dimensional piece. Okay, now we're going to talk about space. Space is any area an artist creates for a specific purpose. Space can be positive or negative. Positive space is an area occupied by an object or form or your subject. Um, negative space is the area that runs between, through, and around, or within the objects that the artist creates. Um, this includes your background, your foreground, and middle ground in a piece. Uh, space can be manipulated in art um, based on how an artist uses line, um, shape, form, and color as well. The last element of art that we are going to talk about today is texture. And texture is how an object looks or feels. 
in art, texture can be actually felt and be real, um, such as in sculpture or um, three-dimensional pieces of art, or it can be implied texture, um, like in a realistic sketch or painting, and you are making the viewer think that you can actually reach out and touch that piece and it be what the subject actually is. Um, Different words to describe texture are <laughs> limitless. Uh, to name a few, there's soft, hard, rough, uh, fluffy, brittle, smooth. Um, really wonderfully executed texture is what's going to make your art seem even more real to your viewer. And that is that. Um, those are the seven elements of art. Ta-da! <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys for viewing this video. Um, we are going to have some more art lesson videos coming up in the future. I hope that you guys will stay tuned and keep on creating. Um, in this time of social distancing, it's really important to stay connected with us. So feel free to interact with us on our social media pages. You can hop on our website and check out everything that we're doing, all of the content that we're creating for you. We would absolutely love to hear your feedback on it. Your support is super, super important to us. Um, stay tuned. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to create. Thanks so much, guys.